And a very good evening to you. It's Tuesday the 11th of July 2011. A warm welcome along to a late night United Kingdom talk for you this evening, boys and girls. Just a little chat at or two. It's pouring down with rain outside. It's been pouring down since this afternoon, to be honest. I uh, got up this morning, right about, uh, I think I got up about half past eight this morning. Um, done a few bits and pieces around the house. And of course, it's slim as well day this morning, isn't it? Yes. But before I leave, I take my pills. I couldn't find my pill box anywhere this morning. Have you got one? Generally, people over the age of, I don't know, 50, we've all got pills for something or another. And I've looked everywhere for this blooming pill box this morning. Uh, it's, it's always in the kitchen on the side. That's, that's where I leave it. Now and again, it works its way some strange way into the living room. But not today. I'm sure, I thought, I'm sure it's not in the living room. So I've gone in and out. And you know you know how you look for something and you go and look somewhere else and then you go back to the original place and look in exactly the same place. You know, with this thought in your mind that somehow it suddenly reappeared where you, where you think it should be. And I do that several times. You know, ex I look in exactly the same spot, move exactly the same things in, in the strange thought that somehow... This item is going to appear as if by magic in the place that I just looked 30 seconds ago. Guess what? No, it didn't. Oh, I've looked everywhere for this damn thing. Anyway, in the end, I gave up and uh, I just got the pill boxes, you know, the um, the actual pill bottles in the cupboard. And I just took uh, took four out of there. I've got three lots, actually. There's two of two, two of one, one of one and one of one. So I have four in the morning. And um, so I just had them like that in the end. Anyway, uh, I checked the weather and it said it was going to rain all day, although it wasn't raining yet. So I jumped in my car and I went down to uh, town. It was quite early. It was about, about an hour early, but I thought I'd get my hair cut first. Anyone notice? You don't even notice, do you? You see, I try and look nice. I put nice hair cut, nice shirt. This is the one that Ronnie bought me when he was in... Uh, in uh, uh, Shagal uh, Magal I beg your pardon, Magaluf a couple of weeks ago. He bought this. Look at this. Quite nice, isn't it? I like the colours. I like the colours. And um, so I went and had my hair cut first uh, down at uh, Max. Now, Mac is the owner. And I didn't see him last time he was there. Apparently, he was having an operation on his leg. Well, there he was, hobbling up the road on a pair of um, uh, uh, crutches. And he comes in in these in these little little football shorts. He looks quite tasty, actually. He does look very tasty. I think he's in his early thirties. Very nice, bit airy. You know, he's got the beard, that kind of Greek look about him. Very, very tasty indeed. And he had little blue football shorts on today. I could barely take my eyes off his legs. I hope he didn't see me looking. God. So he hobbled in. I said, "What did you do? Was it playing football?" He said, "Yeah, that's right. Torn." Torn ligaments, apparently. Quite a painful thing that these footballers do. Well, there you go. Serves you right for playing such a Nancy boys game. They're all blooming Nancy boys playing football, aren't they? You see them all snogging on the pitch, and then they all get in that disgusting, filthy bath together. Oh, no, it's bad enough having to use a swimming pool after people my age. Yes. God knows what's leaked into that swimming pool every time I open my mouth and take a gulp of water. <laughs> Ronnie says, my mate, he says that I'm like a horse when I'm swimming. Every time I go like that, and then when I breathe out, when I breathe out for something, he says that I'm like a horse while I'm swimming. He calls me Tugboat Leal. Ah, not so much a fat tugboat now anymore, am I, mate? I've lost weight again. I've lost weight again. I'll tell you in a minute. Don't rush me. Don't rush me yet. So I had my hair cut in there uh, by the lovely lady from Nepal. She don't say much, which is what we like. We like that in a hairdresser's. We want to sit there, hello, a few niceties, and then please just get on with the broad job and only talk to me if necessary. You know. Ronnie goes up uh, the road uh, here in Bracknell now to a very nice place. And I went up with him a few weeks ago. And there was some woman in the young, quite young, I suppose, early 20s, something like that. So he was having his hair cut by the bloke. Sorry, I just banged that then, didn't I? He was having his hair cut by the bloke. Someone else, another, another bloke was having his hair cut by this girl. Oh, she did not shut up. 
on and on and on. Oh, in your ear. And I was sitting not close to them. And it was a loud, annoying voice. In the end, I had to get up and go to Waitrose across the road. Done my head in. Not mine. Lovely lady from Nepal. And she's very nice. And she tells me about her family and that. And they're going on holiday to Scotland. And I said, oh, that's a long drive, isn't it? Scotland. Uh, I said, you, you, you're driving up there? She said, yes. Oh, that's a long time, that is. She said, no, look. She said, and she got this thing out. And uh, someone's written it all down for me. And someone had written down seven hours. And I thought, I'm sure it's longer than that to get to Scotland. Isn't it about 12 hours to drive to Scotland? And she says, well, he's written seven hours. I said, I'm sure that must be wrong. Hang on a minute. And I got out my mobile phone with my little sat-nav. I use Waze now. Anyone use Waze? W-A-Z-E. It's excellent. And it's free. You haven't even got to pay for it. Just download the app, dear. Marvellous. I think they make their ad uh, the money through advertising because obviously uh, sometimes you're driving along and you'll get a little ad pop up for McDonald's, you know. 24-hour McDonald's with you. Click here and I will take you there. Only 12 minutes off your journey. Something like that, it says. Wonderful little thing. Uh, so Waze is what I use, W-A-Z-E. So I got that out and I typed in, I typed in Glasgow. First thing that came into my head. And from Wokingham, to drive to Glasgow is only six hours. I was really surprised at that. Because I remember years and years ago, I was booked to actually... Have I started the recording? Yeah. Uh, I was booked to do a job uh, in Braemar, which is in the highlands of Scotland. And I remember there, uh, we left at something like seven o'clock in the morning. And we didn't get there till eight o'clock at night. But then I think it's a, it's a lot further up Braemar. Plus, it's not motorway. You know, it's all, it's all very well. Probably London to Glasgow is, is a motorway all the way. I don't even know. I'm not very good with geography or that sort of thing. It's probably a motorway all the way. Once you get up into the highlands, you know, your little roads going like that in the middle of nowhere. I mean in the middle of nowhere. Because I remember that. This is I'm going back here about 30 years now. And there was someone driving a van. I think we were in the back. Um, and we were going on this little road just, just like for ages and ages. And there's just nothing. Just moorland, heathland. Beautiful. Oh, just stunning. Sunning and just big rocks, big rocks. And you thought, where do these rocks come from? <laughs> you know, in the middle of these fields, big white rocks. I don't know where they come. Boulders, literally boulders, in there. And um, that that took a lot longer, but it must have been further up. So I re I really didn't know that. It's only six hours to drive from Wokingham to Glasgow. I think I might do that one day. I might do that. We might do that one day. Yeah, just 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 for a bit of laugh. Anyway, so I came out from there. Uh, I'm uh, walking now to Slimmer's World and I saw I just pop into Super Drugs. So I went into Super Drugs and I bought two pill boxes because it was buy one, get one half a price. I didn't need two, actually. I just it was buy one, get another one half price. Um, so I bought two of those and they have a three shop in there, you know, the three network. So I had a word with him about the phone not being able to connect to my card. I went through the whole thing again. And he said, it's possible there might be something wrong with a SIM card. I'll do you a new SIM card. So he's done me a new SIM card. Uh, uh, so I, 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 later on in the afternoon, I tried that in my car. No, exactly the same, unfortunately. I still can't get the phone to talk to the car for some reason. It's Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth works. I can phone hands-free and I can play music from my iPhone in the car. What I can't do is connect to the internet. It just won't work. And we can't put our finger on it Why this is happening. Uh, so that was that. And then I went to... Sl Do you like my haircut? It's all right. Then I went to Slimming World. Oh, yes, boys and girls. You probably know already. I'm sure you've seen my post on the wall. But today I achieved another award. Thank you very much. Look at this. One stone. Thank you very much. I have now lost one stone in weight. I also get a little sticker for the front of my book as well. Look at this. There's the half stone one. There is the one stone one. Thank you very much. Three stickers. That's not bad, is it? I think it's, is it four weeks? It's five weeks, that is. Five weeks. One, two, three, four. Oh, is it six? Oh, it might be six weeks. Actually, it's six weeks. Here we go. So first week, I lost three and a half pounds. Second week, I lost two pounds. Third week, I lost three and a half pounds. 
Fourth week, I put on a pound. Don't know why. Fifth week, I lost four and a half pounds. Sixth week, this last week, I lost two pounds. So I am now, I started off at 13 stone, 10 pounds. I am now 12 stone, 13 pounds. Thank you very much. We have moved away from the 13 stone mark. I'm very, very happy about that. Very, very happy. I have to say, there's an awful lot of negativity uh, from people. Um, actually, not, not an awful lot, but some negativity from people. Um, oh, that don't work. You know, oh, why are you doing that? You'll put it all back on and all that business. Uh, and I don't understand why that is. People are so blooming negative about it. They look at, well, that's not going to work. You know, and I, I suppose it's probably true. If you come off the plan, you will, of course, put on weight. But as Adam the Plumber has told us so many times on this programme, uh, it is a lifestyle change. You can still go out and have the occasional ice cream. You can still go out and have the occasional bag of crisps. But you've got to keep your eye on those scales. Just once a week, wait. If it's gone up, start doing something about it. If it's got, it can go down too far, increase your intake. It's about keeping an eye on it, you see. It's a shame people have such negative views of things all the time, or they don't believe it. I think half the time they're blooming jealous. I'm sure that's what it was. Anyway, I think the, one of the ladies, she lost four and a half pounds, and she won the Slimmer of the Week award uh, this week. But I'm happy with my little certificate and all that. We all had a little bit of a chat, and we were talking. With the, someone always mentions, for some reason, the Slimmer's World chips. Now, these are, not, these are not chips that you buy. You make them yourself. You get a potato, you chop them up, you spray them with fly, fry light, put them in the oven for about uh, 40 minutes, uh, some, somewhere between 40 and 50 minutes, and then you bring them out when they're nice and crisp. Delicious. So I was able to tell my story that I did try and do those yesterday. Oh, yes, I invented, I invited my dear good friend uh, uh, Ronnie round for chips. And I put them in the oven. And I put the oven on. I said, right, there'll be about 50 minutes. OK, well, we'll just go around Waitrose. Left the house, went to Waitrose. He went somewhere else. And as things happened, uh, he got delayed somewhere, got back here. Chips black. And I mean black, like charcoal. I picked one up and I thought, I wonder if there's anything at all in the middle now. No, nothing. Just black. They were like fingernails that had gone black in an oven or something. <laughs> so dreadful. So that was my chips yesterday. Very, very tasty. Uh, although I have remade them again tonight, I must admit. Let's just read some of your messages coming through there. Good morning to Gustav, who said, Are oh, you smashed off your nut on white lightning and can't sleep like the rest of us? I don't drink, Gustav. Do you not know that? I do not drink at all, ever. Never, ever drink. I have no interest in alcohol whatsoever. Horrible stuff. I remember getting drunk in my 20s and you go, I, I, I used to get drunk every single night of the week. When I was about 23, there was a pub across the road from my flat in uh, Wandsworth. And what was it called? Possibly the Gardeners, the Jolly Gardeners, something like that, the Gardeners Lounge. I don't know what it was called. Anyway, uh, I used to go over there, get drunk. I, I'd crawl back and then fall asleep and just, just swimming and all that. Oh, no. Don't want to do it. It's horrible getting drunk. It's horrible. White lightning. You have a crack open another bottle and stay with us for the rest of the night, good stuff. All right. Hello to Peter Hyde, who's with us tonight. Uh, Jaren Hebrech. Lovely flowers. Lovely tune. Have yourself a great night and say hello to Kitty. Thank you, Jaren. It's very kind of you to say that, my love. Thank you very much. What a nice word. Hello to Kevin Webster this morning. Greetings, Kevin. Uh, Rod Brown is just about to throw the cat out of bed. Bit tired and bed can... Oh, throw the Zeds out of bed. Bit tired, but bed can wait. Yeah, take me to bed with you if you want. You can watch me on a little iPhone or something like that. Would you like me to serenade you to sleep or something? Huh? A nice little slow lullaby. Oh, I can't think of any lullabies. I could look one up and sing it to you, perhaps. Um, Kevin's just having his takeaway. You mustn't eat cat takeaway, Kevin. Very, very bad for you. Very bad. Eloise uh, is loving the garden. Thank you, Eloise. Uh, if, you, if you're wondering why people are saying we like your garden, there is a five-minute countdown. If you've only just joined us, you won't see it. But there's a five-minute countdown that I play before I start the show just to give everyone a chance uh, to, to, to be there right at the beginning in case, in case there's a raffle. You know, I might give, I'm still trying to give away those blasted spider bloods. I'm going to have to chuck them away. 
I think I'm going to have to chuck away the spider plants because no one wants them. I am now threatening to take the spider plants into... Actually, tomorrow! Quiz night tomorrow! <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll give away spider plants to all the losers tomorrow. <laughs> I've got to get rid of them. They're taking up space in the garden now. No one wants them! <laughs> I shall do that tomorrow to the to the losing teams at quiz night. I'll give them a spot of plant. <laughs> I'm liking the sound of that. So uh, if you if you, if you join us right at the beginning, you get the five minute countdown. How do you know when we're on air? Somewhere on your screen, not on mine because I'm doing the show. There is a subscribe button. I'm not sure exactly sure where it is. Um, but just hit that, and then whenever I do a show, I think you get some sort of notification on your phone. Although I find that annoying, don't you? Oh, my mate's got... He must have every blooming notification f switched on to his phone. Every few minutes. Bing! Boo! Ba! Boo! Dee! Da! Oo! Every few minutes, there's a ping of some sort going off on his blooming phone, and it gets on my nerves. Oh, it's so annoying. Not, on not only a ping, but a flash of light as well. Because we've got iPhones. I have an iPhone SE. Thank you very much. iPhone SE. And he's got an iPhone... Um, uh, I think he's got a 7, actually. Let me just turn my cold air back on for a minute. That's it. Um, yeah, he's got an iPhone 7. And he's got every single notification switched on. Bing! Boo! Ba! Boo! Bing! Bing! Like that all the time. Turn them off. God's sake, man. You can't can't hear the telly for the noise the phone's making. And the vibration as well. Like that. Isn't it? Uh, hello to Jerry. Greetings, Jerry. Uh, Gustav says, did someone throw up on your shirt? Don't you like this? Oh, come on. This is nice. This is a lovely shirt, this is. Colourful shirts. Not boring, grey, drab outfits that you wear when you're out. Dear me. What was that thing you had on the other day? It was just grey. I think you've got some very strange tasting clothes, dear. Mind you, I didn't. I'm, I'm, it's amazing what you can buy in Primark, isn't it, Gustav? It really is. Um, Kevin says, get a bum bag for your pills. What, carry them all around everywhere? What do I want to do that for? Once you've taken them in the morning, that's it. You haven't got to think about it anymore. Uh, good morning to Lisa, who's having a very sunny winter in Australia. Oh, winter in Australia, boys and girls, is not winter. I tell you that now. They think it is. They think it is. I remember going to Australia in... It was in June. June. So that's their autumn. So I've gone out there, of course. You know, sh I'm walking around in shorts and T-shirt. It's about 70 degrees. They've all got their coats on in Sydney. I, I kid you not. That's true, that is. Come June, as soon as it gets down to about 70 degrees, they're walking around in coats. I mean, why have they all got coats on? Because, <laughs> of course, they're used to it being, like, really, I mean, really hot. Uncomfortably hot there in summer. It really is. Uh, hello to Alan Carruthers. Greetings, Alan. Jamie Clark's there. Congratulations on losing a stone. Thank you very much, Jamie. Uh, it, it's quite, it is easy. It's very easy. On Slimmer's World, it's really easy. I've even bought into the magazine this week. Look at this. I've bought, this for the first time, the Slimmer's World magazine. Uh, available for £2.95 or, if you remember, hello, £1.95 from the group, uh, from the group Exorcisms or whatever you want to call them. And uh, it's got all sorts of stuff in here. Recipes, people's lives. And then it gives you advice on, on the naughty things that you can have. Um, where I'm allowed about 20 sins a day. Ice cream is a bit of a... It, it, it's quite a lot of sins, most of it. But you can get away with some of them. For example, Iceland do mini Viennas. Three sins for one of those. Look, only three sins for one of those. Look at that. And this looks delicious. Claude and Finn mini Greek style frozen yogurt lollies. Now, I think you can get these in Waitrose. Uh, only one and a half cents for one of those. Cornetto, uh, min that's a similar one. Mini choc Cornetto, five and a half cents. So that's quite a lot in there. You wouldn't want to eat one of those. I think a maximum, uh, a, a large size Cornetto is about 15 cents. And then... Um, it's got other recipes, and you would be surprised what you can eat. I don't want to go on too much about the Slimming World thing all the time. 
because we have so much more to talk about, you know, getting too much on one subject all the time. But it is a, it, it, it really is. If you want to give it a go, it, it just works. It really does work. I've got a little bit addicted to this stuff. Quark. Now, this is only one brand. This is the Graham's brand. Okay? And it's fat-free... Um, fat-free uh, uh, soft cheese. I have the Waitrose one. Waitrose, I'm, I think it's an Essentials one. You know, wait, wait, Waitrose Essentials. And um, I have that. Uh, fat-free soft cheese. But it has no taste. And it is sin-free. You're supposed to be able to eat as much of that as you want. Well, I've started spooning this stuff on strawberries. I do, I like, do you like strawberries? Oh, yes, dear. Mm, yum, 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 yum. They don't store very long, do they, unfortunately? But uh, I love strawberries. And I've started, because it, it's, like, it's like Mr. Whippy ice cream. It doesn't taste the same, but the texture is almost identical to Mr. Whippy ice cream. That's the, um, the quark, quark. Did I say quark? No, it's quark. Quark, Q-W-A-R-K, I think it is. Quark, uh, fat, fr I, I, th I said low fat, didn't I? No, incorrect. Quark, fat-free soft cheese. Big tubs of this stuff. I'm spooning this onto the strawberries. Oh, it's lovely. So, and I've been doing that all last week, so I was concerned when I went for my weigh-in this morning. But no, it, 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 it's still gone down two pounds. Funny, isn't it? So that's really nice, that is. Uh, Eloise uses Waze. Yeah, oh, do you? Or you'll probably come up then as one of my friends. Sometimes I notice friends come up on there and you can push a button and it goes beep, beep in your friend's phone. That's wonderful, that Waze thing. All free of charge. I used to be a TomTom -tom person. Uh, but they, they seem to be having a lot of trouble with their traffic thing at the moment and it keeps stop working all the blooming time it's so annoying uh greetings to tony power who joins us uh tonight greetings tony I hope the songwriting's going well uh peter says um that was on your push bike oh what was on my push bike what was on my push bike peter i don't know what you're talking about uh hello to jason carter hello from spain well done on the stone loss if you want to know now how to keep it off PM me okay. Oh, I'm 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 carrying on going. I'm down to as I say, I'm down to thirteen stone. What is it? Is it thirteen thirteen? No, thirteen. No, twelve. Is it twelve thirteen? What 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 we're down to now? I'm down to twelve stone thirteen. Uh, so I've only got thirteen more pounds to go. Huh? I wanted to be 12 stone. I have to say, there's a couple of people um, telling me I'm looking a bit gaunt. <laughs> well, I suppose you're going to be, aren't you? For a while. And then I, I don't know how it works, whether the fat redistributes itself at some point or whatever. Uh, but certainly my um, uh, my uh, independent financial advisor is telling me, be careful, you're starting to look a bit gaunt. And my sister told me that as well. But um, it's only due to the weight loss and nothing else. Don't worry, I'm not ill. <laughs> Uh, hello from Spain. Yes, Jason Carter there. Uh, hello to Lou. Hello, Lou. It's your birthday today. I'm going to be singing to you later. Happy birthday, Lou. Greetings. Greetings, Lou. Um, and Lisa says the macaroni cheese in the new Slimmer's World magazine is delicious. Uh, now, I'm not a fan of macaroni cheese. I've got to be honest. Not really keen on that one, my darling. All right. No, not not uh, not macaroni cheese. All right. Page 64, is it? Hang on. Let's have a look. Lisa says it's on page 64. Let's have a look at that. Have you got this one as well, Lisa? Here it is. Mac Mac is it macaroni cheese. How many sins in that? Oh, si oh, si oh, no. Hang on. One. Okay, one sin in that. Look at that. Actually, that does look quite nice. Look at that. Easy squeezy. And it tells you um, how, to, uh, how to cook all this stuff. I've just done my dinner, actually. I did do some more chips because my mate's just been round. Uh, so I do the uh, Slimmer's World chips, I told you. Cut the potato, uh, spray it with fry light stuff, and I also put on a load of rosemary and garlic. Uh, I used garlic powder, you know, from a jar. Can't be bothered to cut all that stuff up. So I did that for him, although I did some for myself as well. And also my uh, arabetta sauce with spaghetti. Oh, delicious, dear. I find myself putting more and more chilli in... <laughs> In my arabetta spaghetti. Anyone else do that? 
We're now up to a packet and a half. <laughs> You get these chilies. I mean, they're already cut up and frozen uh, in Waitrose. I think Sainsbury's do them as well in a little box, and you just open the box and pour them in, and that's it. It started off, when I started doing this uh, particular um, uh, meal, It's I started off with half a packet, then it's one packet. Now it's a packet and a half of chilies. <laughs> I love it. Your mouth is burning and tingling. It's wonderful. Really, and sometimes even more chilli powder in as well as that. Thank you. Yeah, I would probably use the Primula um, healthy stuff rather than anything else, darling. All right. Uh, there's a phone line if you want to call in at some point this evening. It's now open. 020 8144 is my phone number. Maybe you've got a little question about Slimmer's World or anything like that. Anything else at all, then uh, do let us know. 020 8144 I bought a new gadget. Here we are from Amazon. There we are. That's it. Look at it. Uh, if you watch our karaoke streams, you will have noticed the last two on Sundays uh, at the Camden Eye. We do karaoke at the Camden Eye in Camden Town every Sunday night. That's between 8 and 11 o'clock. Very, very busy. It's really good in there. Um, and uh, uh, But the, the phone, the thing, uh, my camera holder broke. So I bought another one. It's not too bad, is it? I mean, it's a bit... I mean, it would. I think that would probably break quite easily. I don't know how long it last. It's really difficult finding something decent. You know, that that will go on a desk like that, you see, and the camera goes in there, and then we stream it. But, I mean, I've, I've had this thing break before. That thing, I mean, it is, it's not made very well at all, is it? You know, it took me ages, I mean, ages to work out how to attach the legs. <laughs> Eventually, you twist this thing, you see. If you don't twist the thing... Let me see if I can do that now. Oh, I can't do it now. Is that how it works? And Ronnie's been mucking around with this tonight as well. We kept ain't doing things to it. Let me yeah, that, you see, there we go. Now, if you don't twist that thing, you see, this is what happens, right? And it just, just, just falls over. And it took me ages to realise that you have to twist the thing. Oh, I can't do it now. I oh, buggered it up again, and I? Oh, no, not again. It took me so long to get it. Working before, hang on, do I turn that or no, turn that maybe? That's it, there it is, right, leave it like that. <laughs> so that's my latest gadget today. Thank you very much. What else have I been doing? Uh, did a bit of in tonight. Ah, oh, uh, so I've had a gadget failure tonight. My Humax FreeSat recorder. Anyone got one of those? So Ronnie's come round tonight, come round, we, he always comes round to watch a little bit of telly on a Tuesday night. So I fired up my Humax FreeSat recorder, gone to my recordings, and it says, you don't have any recordings. Now, it has done this before, and I've unplugged it, and plugged it back in again, and miraculously, they've reappeared. This time, they haven't reappeared, and I don't know what to do. Also, strangely enough, it's no longer recording it. I think something's gone wrong with the hard drive. I can reformat the hard drive, but then I shall lose all my recordings, won't I? Anyone else have that experience with some sort of um, hard disk recorder? I've had a look on the internet. There seems to be an awful lot of people that this has happened to with their various different hard disk recording gadgets. Never happened on a videotape recorder, did it? I'm sure we're worse off now, equipment-wise. Stuff don't just don't last for ages, or it's, it's so difficult to get working or anything like that. So it looks like I've lost all my recordings. I had about, I had eight loads and loads of recordings on that waiting to be watched, including from Christmas. It takes me quite a while sometimes to watch things. Anyone else had that at all? So annoying. Kevin's got Sky Q, have you? Oh, no, dear. There's no subscription television in this house. I never paid for television when I was a child. I'm not going to pay for it now. Thank you very much. Free view and free sat only in this house. Yes. Lisa says, could you send me the Arabetta re recipe? I will do that now for you. Just a moment. Arabetta recipe. You can see. Uh, just knock out the oil, darling. All right. Let's get it for you. There it is. One moment. Oh, no, that's not the one. Is that the one? Oh, yes, it is. That's it. That is the one. There it is. Right. You, I mean, you've been doing this Slimmer's World thing long enough, darling, haven't you? So you'll know what to knock out and what not to knock out. Here we are. I'll put it on the comments. One minute. Just take out the oil and use fry light instead. There you go. Comments. That's the um, recipe for the um, 
uh, am a better one. There is a Slimmers World one as well. Uh, although that's not the one I do. That, this is the one I use, but I take out the olive oil and use spray light instead. I don't put... Ev and I, what else don't I do, actually? I'll tell you in a minute. One minute. Shall I tell you? No, I can't now. It's gone. It's gone. No, it's gone. So there we are. All right. Uh, I think that's, that's, that's everything I've done today. Yes, it is. Yes, that's all, that's all I've done today. I've got a few little news articles with you. Do you remember we were talking about Glastonbury some time ago? It was a few weeks ago now, wasn't it? Glastonbury. And I said that there's no way I could stay there and uh, 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 in those little tents, dear. I mean, I, I used to be in the Scouts. Years ago, I used to be in the Scouts. And all the time, we used to go camping. And we'd sleep on the floor. You know, you've got a ground sheet there. And literally, you sleep on that ground sleep. No softness or anything like that, you know. But ever since I had purchased my John Lewis mattress topper round at Christmas, I sleep in luxury here. I absolutely do. Although I have to say, now I do keep puffing it up, but I find a dent is developing in the middle of my John Lewis double king-size mattress topper. Has anyone else had this problem? Have the feathers become flattened? <laughs> Due to my fat ass laying on them. I think that's what's happened there. Awful. Just awful. <laughs> Anyone else got a mattress topper? It has. It's got a dent in the middle now where I sleep. I mean, I keep trying to... So I keep trying to sleep now on one side or the other. But at some point, I must roll back into the middle. And it's real luxury, it is. Having a mattress topper of any sort. Especially a John Lewis one. And, um... But, of course, when I was in the Scouts, we never had anything like this. I mean, some of the Scouts, my friend Stephen Short, he had this roll-up foam thing. And it was only about that thing. I don't think it did anything, did it, really? That's, and that's the trouble. I think that's half the trouble when I go away on holiday, you know. I mean, most hotels have got decent beds in them, but it's not like your own, is it? Do you have trouble sleeping when you're on holiday? Do you? Call in if you want to and talk to me. 020-8144-3477 is my phone number, okay? 020-8144-3477. We've got Skype as well. The Skype in is United Kingdom Talk. All one word, United Kingdom Talk, okay? Hello to Ray Reynolds, who joins us uh, from the Lincoln Lounge, King's Cross, with the Ukulele Club Monthly. Morning, Ray. Ray, are you popping down to the quiz tomorrow night? Or to no, it's tonight. Is it Wednesday? How long have I been talking for? Half an hour? Blimey. It's Wednesday already. <laughs> I lose all track of time. I never had one of these roll-up foam things at all. I, had, I just slept on the floor. Well, most of us slept on the floor. So that's a ground sheet above. And then they're quite thick. But the moisture, it doesn't get damp or the moisture, unless you wet the bed, of course. You know, and a few, few people had that problem. <laughs> not me, not me. Um, it's like a, a very thick plastic -y thing and they put that on the floor. Underneath that's the grass, you see. So I suppose it was cold. I don't remember it being cold um, on the floor. I think there was a particular place that we used to go on holiday. Uh, yeah, feel free, Jamie, feel free. There was a particular place that we used to go on holiday with the Scouts, a place called Buckmore Park, um, which I think... I think it's in Kent somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it was now. But there we slept in a big dormitory, a massive dormitory. There was no eating. And we used to go in February. Now, let me tell you, that was cold. That was cold. Why any of us didn't come out of there with pneumonia, I don't know. It was freezing in that place. I remember wooden bunks. So it'd be... Me, maybe underneath, and someone on top of me there. And um, my friend, Philip Thompson, that was his name. He used to sleep like, so our heads would be like, you know, one head, like, you know, he was in the bunk next to me. They were like all bunk beds like that. I don't remember a mattress. I think they were just wooden. We used to get splinters and everything. That's how it was then. And there was no heating in this room, I'm telling you. My God, it was cold. In, in fact, in a tent, you were probably warmer because, you know, you've got six bodies in a tent radiating heat into the tent. I suppose it feels it. Oh, all we used to smoke in the tent. All the sky. We were 14 years old. We used to be lighting up, smoking away in the tent. Or we'd, we'd lift. 
we'd lift the bottom of the tent to let the smoke out. Of course, you know, at that time as children, you think, oh, well, they won't be able to smell it because we've smoked outside. But of course they could because it clings to everything. Smoke is a disgusting habit. Did you smoke in school? I used to smoke in school as well. You smoke in the toilets. There was a little group of us. <laughs> we all used to meet enough up in the toilets for a cigarette. <laughs> I, I remember being in the toilets once and I'd locked, I was on my own. So I'd locked the door. I'm sitting there on the toilet, smoking away. And I heard the door go, you know, the squeak of the toilet door opened. And I heard footsteps. Like shoes. I thought, oh, that's got to be a teacher. Anyway, it's the funny, funniest thing ever. So you're in the toilet. The, the, the walls and the door do not go from top to bottom. They're like, you know, th there's gaps. Big gap at the top and the bottom. And you finish your cigarette. You actually believe that they don't know you're smoking in there. What is it that makes you believe that? You actually are completely unaware that the smoke that you're exhaling is going both above the door and below it. Not just smelling. He can, must be able to see the smoke. But you don't believe he can. And then you pop a polo in your mouth and you open the door and there the teacher's standing there. Oh, it's you, Reardon. Come along now. Get back to work. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye, sir. And he never said another word. <laughs> I used to smoke in my bedroom sometimes and my dad would come in and say what's that smell in here son and I'd say oh I'm doing chemistry experiments it smells a bit like cigarettes doesn't it dad oh right okay then <laughs> you actually thought you could fool your parents into believing that or hanging out the window <sighs> Oh, disgusting. I'm so glad I gave that up. I gave smoking up about 27 years ago now. I think it must be about 27, 37, 47, 48, 49, 51, 52. Yeah, about 27, 28 years ago I gave up the smoking. <laughs> so glad I did. So glad I did. Um, ah, excellent. Ray's coming along to the quiz tonight. Good luck with your uh, good luck tonight, Ray. Maybe you'll win again. Your team keeps winning, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, do you like cranberry juice, Kevin wants to know? Uh, no, not really. Don't like that stuff. Buckmar Park is still there. Thank you, Adam. Adam the Plumber's with us. Greetings, Adam the Plumber. Buckmar Park is, in fact, still there. Uh, Adam says, I used to go there. It is indeed in Kent, just outside Maidstone. I passed it tonight. It's got a go-kart track there. Yes, and it always has done, Adam. Buckmar Park. Um, so, when was this? It's actually 73, 74... Around about 1975, 76, I would be going there with the Scouts. No, with the Cubs. Oh, with the Cast Scouts. No, with, no, with the Cub. No. 60, 73, 75. No, with the Scouts. I would be going there with the Scouts. And we used to go every February. There would be snow that thick on the ground. And there was a, a swimming pool. <coughs> There was a roller skating rink. Uh, there was go-karting. I think there was some sort of climbing thing. And it was all there. And it was all very um, rough and ready. Now, I gather, I think I looked at it the other day. They act, they have a ho And they built a hotel while we were there. They'd actually built a comfortable hotel with heating and all that in it. But not for us. Oh, no, no, no. Not for us. We were in these cold huts. <laughs> And then when you became a uh, leader, when you became like a patrol leader or something else uh, like that, you would you got your own little separate room and there'd be about four of us in this room. Okay, and all smoking. Got a call. Hello, Heidi. Greetings, Heidi. You all right, love? Hello, yeah. Heidi. Did you manage... To, have you managed to see our new opening video yet, darling? Babe, I've watched it. The one with the flowers and all the um, the other bits and pieces? Yeah. You know I've done that because of what you said, don't you? I know. Are you impressed? Here I'm I am. Impressed. Hoping to please people all the time. All I want to do is please people. That's all I want to do, Heidi. I'm very impressed. It looks really good. Thank you, lovey. I'm going to please myself after the show by having some strawberries and quark soft fat cheese before I go to bed with a cup of tea, dear. 
I love the bit with Kate going oh, around in London yeah. circles. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's. Can I just, on a little serious note, that's that's a pro that's a problem she's got. She's been doing it for months now. You know she's old. Yeah. And um, actually, one of the one of the viewers um, uh, did say it upset them a little bit because, you know, really, it does it's, seem a bit it's, of a it, problem to be honest. It's her, it's her little dementia head that's making her go round and round in circles all the time. She actually does it. She does it inside, outside, wherever she round, and that she spends most of her time when she's up walking around in that circle. She actually wears out newspapers. That is right. the truth. Yeah, bless her heart. But you know that's how she is now. So it's kind of part of life. So that that's why that little clip's in there. It took ages to do that. It looks like it looks fab. Yeah. Really good. What are you calling in about tonight, my darling? Who's the um? Who's the little boy beating you up? Oh, that's uh, well. There's two of them, isn't there? The the first one you see, he gives yeah, me a whack like that, in right eye. in the eye. <laughs> that yeah, that's George. He's the one with the mask on. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's George. And the other little one who's in a Santa outfit, that's Harry. So George is my niece's son, and Harry is my nephew's son. Oh, oh cute. And I love them all. I love them all. I actually, I actually, oh, and for some reason, whenever I walk idea. into somewhere, they attack me. I don't know why this is. I went to George to uh, George's nursery last time I was there uh, with my sister to pick him up from nursery. And I went in, went into the little room with all the little chairs and little tables. And hey, he spotted me. Yeah, he came straight over and, and whacked me in yeah, the chest. Yeah, he rocked him in the stomach, didn't he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I seem to have that effect on children. They just want to beat me up, which I'm OK with, to be honest. <laughs> it's because you're his uncle, that's what, that's all. That's <laughs> I all that it. is. I love it, I love it. I know. I've got myself a gadget. Speaking of gadgets. Yeah. I've got myself a selfie stick. Oh, you've got a selfie stick now as well, have you? Mm. Oh, do be careful with those damn things. People waving around at blooming concerts and everything else last like that, dear. Oh, 18 oh, no. people had to be thrown out of the last Barry Manilow concert with one of those, dear. Shocking. Well, I, I don't think I'll be going to a Barry Manilow concert anytime soon, but... Why is that, then? Well, I don't, I'm not really... I'm not that old, love. What do you mean, not that old? The only the only song I like of... Uh, Bobby Manilow is Copacabana. At oh, the Copa, Copacabana, Copacabana. You've never heard music. Well, you want to listen. You look up some of his stuff on YouTube, my dear. Have you not no, seen my you. Barry Manilow YouTube videos? I like Copacabana and Nine Day, and that's it. That's as far as I go on that subject. Oh, you would like it. It's a, it's a miracle. It's a miracle, miracle, a two do spec. Oh, lovely music, dear. Lovely music. You need to listen to all of his songs, and I'm sure you will like no, them. No, I don't. Trust me, I don't. Who is your favourite pop star, then? Who's your favourite music-type person? I mean, I'm a dance girl, isn't I? A what? I'm a dance music girl. Well, what dance music, then? What, what ones? Um... God, there's loads. Are you talking Hello. 90s, Robin S and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Oh, do you remember that one I used to play at um, Reflex? Key the secret. I've got the key. I've Urban got the secret. Collective. Remember that one? The Urban Cookie Collective. Urban Cookie Collective. And there was another one. Oh, what was the other one? Lily Lemon used to play it a lot. Oh, gosh. Oh, there was another one that always went with that one. Um... I, I can't get it. I can't get it. Oh, move. Oh. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's, there's, move, reel to reel. Re reel to reel. Da, 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 da. That one. Son of a gun. There's another one. Son of a gun. That's it. Son of a gun. What's the other one? It had a blue cover, this record. Because we were on records then. I can't think what it was. Can't think what it was. Uh, Mark's with us. Greetings, Mark, who says he loves Barry Manilow, you see. They are, he loves Barry Manilow. It's only you that doesn't like him. Come on, what other dance tracks? I don't dislike Barry Manilow. I just like, you know, I like Cabana and I like Mandy, and that's it. And what other dance tracks? 
Think of other dance tracks. Um, Cece Peniston. Ah, oh, finally. Yes, um, that was in the film um, uh, Priscilla, of course, wasn't Priscilla. it? Yeah, that was a, I love Priscilla. That was Priscilla's a great funny. tune. Did you like the Kylie stuff? Mm-hmm. Adam says, yeah. is it, Adam says, is it No Limits, the song you're thinking of? No, it's not. I no, think it's got the word... Limited. I think it's got the word move in its title. Move. I I just can't remember that one. Can't remember. Oh, well, never mind, Heidi. It's not music is moving, is it? No, it, music is moving. Music no, that was, a, that was a trade track, wasn't it? Uh, like, um, I know the one you mean. And there was Move Any Mountain. That was by, oh, gosh, so long ago now, isn't it? Oh, that's years old, that one. I'll have to look through my... That's going to do my head in now until I find it. <laughs> let's, let's, let me have a look at my 12-inch um, uh, singles. It might come up there. If I type in move, I'll see what comes up. I'm dying to know what that is now. How annoying is that? Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, 2000s mixing, there we go. Let's do that. I can hear my... You've got my blooming voice on in the background, don't you? Yeah, I'm watching you. I can hear um, that. I'm, I'm watching you. <clears throat> I'm watching you. Right, well, there's Real to Real, Nina Sky, Move Your Body. Make a move on me, catch a banana rama. No. I can't find it now. That is so annoying now. I'll let the man who I will come back. I like them. And it's all your fault. It's all your fault, that is. Living joy. No, it's not living joy. Don't stop moving. It's yeah, not moving on wasn't... up. Maybe it hasn't got move in it, but I remember moving on up. My favourite um, M People track was One Night in Heaven. I like that one. Yes. <clears throat> Freed from Desire. Freed from Desire. Yeah, that's... Um, 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 oh, I know her name. Gala. Um, Gala. Yeah, that's it. Gala. Uh, and then there was, of course, Ultranate Free. Now, that one's... I love, do you yeah. know what? I met her. That, have she's you the, really? I met her. She was mad as a Oh, wow. Dog. You were probably there. Purple in the Park. Yes. Were you there? Yes. yes. And I remember that. Now, that is, again, going back some time now. So, Ultranate Free was there. There was me and my friend Matt. And we turned up there. Um, Brockwell Park, wasn't it? Yeah. And it had the Lido open and all that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we were that. walking there yeah. and I just had my jeans. And it was a beautiful day and I had my jeans on. I had my top off. Yeah, walking top through there. Both, both of us walking through Brockwell Park off our heads we were. <laughs> 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 so we started. And that, and that was the tune, you see, coming off the stage. And she was up there singing free. I'm free. And then we carried on. We stayed there for a while. And we went straight into the, uh, they had a big pool party there, didn't they? Yeah, well, you know, when she was playing, I was actually in the tent watching her. Oh, was you really? Gosh. Yeah. Gosh. Danny Davis so. says, is it Berry Sunshine after the rain? No, that wasn't the one. Gustav says, Freed from Desire was guaranteed to make es every uh, lesbian turn their head in the candy bar when the video came on. Was it really? Why is was that? Was it really? <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> oh, that was, it was great, though. Some of that, those 90s tunes... But um, I wish I could remember what that one was now. Yeah. Never mind, Lily. Uh, uh, oh, not Lily. It I've wasn't the other Lily. one. That, because the Open Cookie Collective, they brought out two. And they both sounded similar. No, it wasn't Urban Cookie Collective. It might have been my, my something. M move my. I'm sure it had an M in it somewhere. I'll have to look through the collection. I'm sure oh, I'll come up with minute. it at some it's point. Not, um... It's not um, Maya, is it? Myra? Maya. M Y A. Um Um Oh god. It could be. Could yeah. be. Oh wait. Maya. It was my it was um oh Maya. Uh well Maya is um Yeah, type in Maya. See what comes up. A lot of that is new stuff. Baby, it's you, 1998. No, no, it's, I don't think it's Maya. But that does ring a bell, Maya. Oh, I, yeah, I, I don't it, know what it, it was, darling. Case of the um, X. No, she's quite new. It, it can't have been Maya. I'm sure there well, was... Oh, yeah, a... she talks about... Um, 
the song is about um, her and her boyfriend and another girl coming along and she's going to punch her back out. No, it wasn't that. I Danny Davis says uh, Motivate. No, I remember Motivate as well. I remember Motivate. It wasn't that one. Oh, oh it's so annoying, that, isn't it? No, this is after Motivate. Yeah, yeah. Alan Davis joins us. Greetings, Alan. Alan Russell, rather. Thank you for you're a bit late today, Alan. Come on, try and keep up with us, dear. Try and keep up with us. Nice to talk to you, Heidi. Oh, is that it then? Because I was going to. Oh, well, no, if you've got more to, to say. If you've got more to say, carry on, darling. Yeah, I've got, I've got more to say. Um, my friend's on um, Swimming World. I, I was saw it today. He or she? She. What, just joined? I think so, yeah. Oh, OK. Well, let us know how she... Uh, the more I talk about it, the more I find other people have got on it. Because uh, she's popped up because she wanted to weigh herself. Yes. She nearly broke my scales, I think. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you mustn't weigh yourself every day. Just leave the weighing to them. Don't weigh yourself. Yeah. Go there and weigh yourself once a week. But you've got to stick to it. Yeah. There's no point in cheating. If the only person you cheat is yourself. You don't need to be hungry at all. You just need yeah. to change what you eat and how you cook it, basically. Well, I don't need swimming well, so... Well, there you, there go. you go. Forever slim, my dear, forever slim. I am. So what else was I going to say? I was going to say, I told you about my gadget. What? Uh, what else? You should make oh, it... Oh, no, what was it? You, you must have started stop smoking. Sorry? How long have we known each other now? Oh, well, I, I used to work at Har... I think I met you in Harpo's, didn't I? Yeah, and you were still smoking then. Oh, yes, yes. Um, so it must have been about 87, two or three uh, years after that. 92, 91? 1991? 91? No. 90? 91, somewhere around there? No, because I had, I had Mason in 1992. Right. So it was after that. I met you after Mason, did I? You met me. You remember when I was pregnant? No, I knew you before you had a child. Yeah, and then after that, after I was pregnant, it must have been when you gave up smoking. Oh, what, when I gave up the smoking? Well, it was before I moved here, and I moved here in 1992. It just seems like it was yesterday, I tell you. I'm so happy well, it to must have, have been that year then, because I had Nathan in, Oct in the October. I would have moved maybe 1991, 1992, I gave up the smoking then. I think probably mm. something like that. When I was working for British Telecom, I was smoking a lot as well. And, of course, used to sm you always smoke a lot for some reason when you're DJing. I don't know why that is. <clears throat> it's just a thing, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. But, um... Oh, Alan, Alan says uh, I'm pretty good with 90s music. Yeah, well, we're trying to think of a record. Um, it was quite fast. Yeah, in it was. It, in compa this particular song was quite... It was a 90s track, early 90s, and it was quite fast in comparison to everything else that I played. Smoking is bad, Danny says. It is bad. It's very no, bad. That, anyway, back to this back to this record. I think it had a blue cover. I think it had a blue cover the record. And I think it had an M. It started with M. Move or my or something like that. We cannot remember what it was, Alan. So I don't know if you can help with that one. But it was quite fast. It was on the same sort of speed as um uh, Key the Secret. Maybe faster actually. Maybe faster than that. Mm. No, it wasn't moving on. We done that one. No, it wasn't. wasn't M people. weren't M people. Anything else to tell us today, Heidi? Um, um, Not moving on up. No. Let's let's see. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's yeah, it's a gift from from Ronnie. It's oh, nice, isn't it? Hang on. Not K class. K -class. Not K class. No. Maybe. What K class? Yes. Do you think so? Let me see what it's the got, titles are. Yes. I think he's got it. it the track, it was a blue cover with a picture of a whale on the front. Rhythm is a mystery. No, that wasn't the one. <clears throat> no. It wasn't rhythm is a mystery. That's not K class. That's something else. Yes, it is. Um, now you're thinking of rhythm is a dancer. That was by Snap. Rhythm Snap, is a dancer. It? Yeah, rhythm is a mystery was a different song. They were very popular. Very very popular. Mm. 
No, K Class had. Um, I, I think I know the one he means. It was a 12 inch. Yeah. And it was a blue cover and had a picture of a whale on the front. Well, it definitely, I'm sure it had a blue cover, this record. The only it way I'm going to do it is cover, to go... But it had a picture of a whale yeah. on the front. Yeah. Well, the only way I'm going to be able to do it is to go through all my songs. And even then, I don't know if I've MP3'd that one, if you see what I mean. You know, I don't have any song. I don't have any records at all anymore. I got rid of all of them and uh, MP3'd them onto the uh, computer, really. <laughs> you know Lily's still got his, all his records? Oh, I'm sure he has. Yeah, Lily Lemon. Let me just tell people, Lily Lemon was uh, the uh, DJ at Copa's. Which was before, uh, before it, I think it burnt down, didn't it, while he was there? Did it burn <laughs> down or something like that? It burned down, and um, then I, I got a, a job there, and Lily was still there. I, I worked upstairs, and he worked downstairs. And he was also the Shall main... I Google it and come back to you? Yeah, then, well, you can if you want. Then um, it was, uh, 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 he was also the main DJ at Reflex uh, in yeah. Putney, and I kind of took over from him. He, he left, and I took over from him then. Well, I, I worked at Reflux for a little while. Yeah, it's not Maya, yeah. Alan. Not Maya. Yeah, no, it's not Maya. Been. We've already been there. Good. Uh, All right, um, Heidi, going to go now, darling. It's lovely to I talk to you, as I always. I love your shirt. Yeah, I'm glad you do. Lots of love, darling. All right, then. Bye. Bye-bye, Heidi. Oh, lovely to talk to Heidi there for a good 20 minutes or so, wasn't it? It's always nice for people to call in. It really is, my love. Right, uh, going to do the birthdays from yesterday and today, and then we'll disappear, boys and girls. We've been chatting away for an hour. I don't know where that's gone today. Uh, yesterday's birthdays first, because it is now Wednesday, and yesterday was Tuesday. So uh, this this will cover, like, two days, wouldn't it? Happy birthday yesterday to Lou O'Keel. Happy birthday yesterday, Lou O'Keel, um, who often watches the karaoke streams that we do from the various places. Happy birthday for yesterday. And... Um, Happy birthday yesterday to Manuel Ocampo. Now, Manuel, I have to tell you, uh, used to come along to Belushi's in Hammersmith, um, which was uh, a place that I worked at for a few years. And he was he was ever so young then. Now it looks like he's in some sort of band. He's 26 now. So happy birthday to you, Manuel. I'll always remember, you were always so nice to me. Uh, while I was DJing and doing the karaoke there, and and you were a, a nice, you were such a nice person. I hope life is working out really well for you. I love to see it when people I knew from like years and years ago suddenly appear uh, on on the Facebook or something like that a little bit later, and you see they've grown up and they've done well and all that, and it looks like he's doing all right. So good luck to you, Manuel. Please send us a little message to see that you've. Uh, uh, seen this, okay? So that was uh, yesterday's birthdays. Today's birthdays, we've got quite a long list today. Uh, Charlie Hydes, international cabaret artist, Charlie Hydes. Uh, she's also in the drag. Oh, damn, what's that called? That American. Oh, God, not drag with no name. What's it called? Drag. Um... The American drag show. Drag race, isn't it? Drag, sh drag race, she's on. Charlie Hydes, happy birthday to you, my darling. You've done so well over the years. All for your own hard work, you and your your other half. Lovely James there. Happy birthday to you, Charlie. Happy birthday today to Alan, who's uh, with us this evening, 35 years old. Alan Carruthers. That's a great surname, isn't it, Alan? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Louise Williams, to uh, Fiona Louise Carroll, to Stavros. Hello, Stavros. He pops along to the karaoke sometimes. Happy birthday, Stavros. John Sidney is 32 today. I worked with him for many years at uh, the Two Brewers in Clapham Man for a short period of time. Uh, the uh, the newer Black Cap, not in the old days, the newer Black Cap. Happy birthday, John. I think you're a security bloke now in a prison. Am I right? Prison officer, something like that. Uh, happy birthday to Sesame A. Aratan. I hope I've got that right. To Craig Selby Harris. Craig Harris. Happy birthday. Jason Riley. It's his birthday today. Uh, Lisa Q. Jones is also kind of Charlie Hyde. So same one there. But it gives me the opportunity to paste the show on two walls instead of one. Happy birthday. Uh, Jason Riley. Happy birthday, Jason. See your little face popping up there. 23 years old today. Um, Sean Given. Happy birthday, Sean. 
Brian Nixon today is 40 years old. That's a great age to be, Brian. Don't worry about going over that 40, my friend. My best age was between 32 and 47. That was my favourite period of life, really, 32 to 47. And um, happy birthday today to the very lovely Sylvia Peacock. Um, she's uh, the mother of Justin Peacock, who I worked with for many, many years at his uh, pokey little pub up north called The Steamcoach. So happy birthday to you, Sylvia. And I'm going to sing you the song, boys and girls. Here it comes. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. On this Wednesday. Happy birthday to you all, okay? Adam says, was it the real McCoy another night? No, it wasn't the real McCoy. I know that one as well. Well, it's really doing my head in, that is. It's not the real McCoy. It was it, all I remember. It was it was very fast. I think I actually had to slow it down. It was so fast. I'll have a good uh, when I finish the show. I'll have a good. I'll get Miss Cup of Tea, bring a cup of tea, have a few strawberries, and uh, have a look for it and see if I can find it out. And if so, I'll tell you on the next show, which will probably be on Thursday. Okay, the next show. Um, so thank you very much, RuPaul. Yeah, that's that's it. RuPaul's Drag Race. Was uh, is the thing Charlie Hides is on? So um, thank you very much for that drag race. And Danny, thank you as well, Danny, for that one. Okay, uh, that's it for the show today. Thank you very much. Uh, tonight it's Wednesday night. Uh, I'll be host, and you'll get a free gift tonight if I remember to bring them in of a spider plant. Free gift. <laughs> free gift. I've got to get rid of these blasted spider plants. So do join us for our quiz tonight. That's every Wednesday night at the King's Head Theatre Bar. Which I'm actually going to sort that out now. I haven't done that yet uh, after I finished that. It's at the King's Head Theatre Bar in Upper Street, Islington. Starts at 8.30, finishes at midnight. Um, it's a lovely little night, actually. Nice people in there. And um, uh, we've got a, a, a £30... Is it a £30? 30, £30 pound bar tab is the main prize. Uh, the second prize is usually a bottle of wine or a load of beers, bottles of beer. And, of course, spider plants as well. If I remember to bring them in, spider... Oh, Paul Binnick there. Spider plants for all our contestants as well this evening. So that's quiz tonight, every single Wednesday, including tonight, 8.30 to 10.30. Get yourself there about 8 o'clock to get a table. Or even better, book ahead. OK, book a table. You can just look up the phone number. It's the King's Head Theatre Bar in Upper Street, Islington. All right? Uh, apart from that, enjoy your Wednesday, boys and girls, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching and listening. And thank you to those of you that also have shared the show onto your wall. That is much appreciated. Good night now.